Duty Duty emergency playing out tonight, the flash floods that took so many drivers by surprise today. Look at these trucks. They are driving down the freeway, California's 101. Their tires nearly underwater there. All of this after the Anderson Reservoir near San Jose spilled over for the first time in more than a decade. Homes underwater, families trapped. And ABC's Neil Karlinski on the rescues tonight. Tonight in San Jose, entire families, even babies, rescued by boat in the middle of their neighborhood. We've been advised that if people are trapped and uninjured, there's a shelter in place. The very young and the very old, dozens of them taken to safety by emergency crews in boats, their only way out of this apartment complex. I've been here for six years, and I've never seen this. It happened real fast. At a nearby golf course, more rescues, 20 people believed to be homeless, clinging to trees for safety. Emergency officials say the flooding is the direct result of water from Anderson Reservoir, what now looks like a man-made waterfall. It's one of many reservoirs in the area at or near capacity, leading to low-level flooding, including this parking lot full of cars at a nearby college. San Jose, in fact, doubling the normal amount of rain it normally gets by this point. All of the water in the Coyote Creek watershed right now is dangerous. It's swift moving, it's carrying debris with it from areas that haven't seen water in years. And on top of that, it may be contaminated. All this after a powerful 24 hours of rain smashing Northern California, leaving trees down and mudslides throughout the area. David, they are still pulling people out of here tonight. The creek that is flooding these apartments hasn't been this high since 1922. This water is filthy. It's filled with raw sewage and chemicals. They're hoping this is the worst of it. The weather here is finally starting to improve. David, see the rescues there behind you, Neil. Thank you.